What's going on, guys? So, these past couple of days, I had the absolute privilege of playing two recently released free-to-play games. Um, Multiversus, which came out like last month, I believe. And then Rumbleverse, which came out a couple weeks ago. <laughs> um, that's kind of confusing. Uh, Multiverses and Rumbleverse. They're both free-to-play games. And they both came out like two weeks of each other. I just want to spend a few minutes giving you guys my thoughts and which one I prefer over the other. Uh, I'm going to start with Multiverses. It is a basically a Smash Brothers clone, except uh, it's like a crossover between DC heroes and like Cartoon Network characters. Like you got Shaggy. You got the Tasmanian Devil, the weird thing from Ad Adventure Time or whatever. I think Bugs Bunny is in it. And of course you got the DC characters like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all that stuff. Now, I'm not really a big fan of like the kind of um, 2D arena fighting like, like the Smash Brothers. A long time ago I tried playing the... Um, PlayStation All-Stars game on PS3, uh, and I couldn't really get into it. I actually kind of enjoy this one, though. Um, for a free-to-play, it's not bad at all. I do have a couple big complaints about it, though. The first is that you only start off with, like, four characters. Like, literally, like, like two, two DC and two... Cartoon Network. Oh, I think Arya Stark from Game of Thrones is in it too. So, I'm, I'm not quite sure what exactly the crossover is. It's mostly DC characters and like, um, characters from other mediums. <laughs> you only start off with four. You have to basically grind for hours and hours on end doing, you know, either one-on-one, -on -one, two versus two, or, uh, two versus, uh, enemy AI. You know, you, you rank up, you gain points, and it kind of does unfortunately feel like it has a pay-to-win thing. Maybe not pay-to-win, but pay-to-unlock all the characters. I've only played it for like an hour and a half or maybe two hours tops, and uh, I still haven't unlocked anyone yet. And there's like four out, four out of like, I don't know, 30-something. So, that's a big complaint I have with multiverses, is the character Rouster and, and not, not having, like, a lot to choose from at the beginning. You know, I could, I could play as, you know, Batman, Wonder, Wonder Woman, uh, I forgot, Arya Stark, and there's one, one more that I don't quite remember off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, I was not happy with that. I'm also not really happy with the fact that, like, players' names are constantly displayed, like, right next to their character. So, like, when you're, when you're fighting people, it's very hard to see what's going on because there's too much text on screen at once. It can feel like, you know, you're, you're forgetting who you're hitting or if you're even hitting anyone because there's just, you don't you don't need to have the 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 player names all there at once constantly that's a little excessive maybe there's a way to um disable it in, in an options menu i don't know there probably is i mean but that was another complaint i had otherwise it was a pretty you know it's a pretty fun uh smash brothers clone you know, for anyone who's a fan of that, you should definitely try this one out because it's free. Um, characters are very limited, of course. You, you can probably just buy them individually. I don't know. But, you know, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of that kind of thing. But I feel like the more I play multiverses, you know, you know the, the more I kind of learn how to play that kind of fighting game. And the more I enjoy it. Multiverses so far, I would probably give like a 7 out of 10. You know, uh, it's a good free-to-play game. And um, 
definitely good if you kind of miss playing Smash Brothers and you just want something to try for fun with a friend or whatever. Um, definitely, you know, that, that's been out for like a month. So, um, if you haven't checked it out or you didn't have time like me or, you know, you didn't even know about it, definitely check out Multiverses. It's flawed, but it, it, it can be pretty fun. Now for the second game, Rumbleverse. Ugh. Rumbleverse, I like a lot, actually. Rumbleverse is... It's a battle royale. That genre has been done to death. But, you know, when it comes to, like, new ideas, or, you know, people trying to do new things with the battle royale brand, I try to remain as open-minded and optimistic as possible because I do know that with the right formula, you can create different kinds of battle royales, like Fall Guys was a really good example of, like, a battle royale game, but done in, like, a game show setting or, you know, whatever, gameplay-wise. It, it was a lot different, but it was still kind of like a battle royale. Instead of making it in the rings, you either, you know, make it through the obstacles or you don't. Rumbleverse is... A kind of like a cartoony fighting, uh, it's like melee, melee battle royale. And there's all these different ty types of like abilities, special attacks, combos, aerial attacks. And um, I actually enjoy it a lot, uh, more than I thought I was going to. Um, I hate battle royale games, by the way. I hate them. But when they're when they're interesting, when they're different, when they're not just another first person sh shooter battle royale, you know, like this is pretty good actually. You know, it's a lot better than the one that came out last year. I think it was like Hunter's Arena. There was another melee battle royale game, but it definitely wasn't as polished. It it was kind of crap actually. This isn't. This is a good game. Rumbleverse is a good good game and I kind of want to play more but I got other things on my plate but I feel like if I had to choose between multiverses and rumbleverse they're both good at what they do they're both free to play which is nice they're both fighting games in their own ways but honestly I'd probably invest more time in rumbleverse in my opinion I actually like the combat system a lot whereas multiverse it's kind of just exactly the same or maybe even inferior to smash brothers where you've got you know your your uppercuts and you know they got ring outs on you know the ceiling and the sides and the floor and stuff and uh it, it's just basically smash brothers but free rumbleverse feels more original Despite being a, a battle royale game, I haven't no, I haven't won a match yet. I probably never will. <laughs> but you know, if I ever have free time to like play a free game for like a long period of time, it would probably be Rumbleverse. I think Rumbleverse is a little bit better than Multiverses. They're both good. Rumbleverse, I think, is a little bit better. I would give that like an eight so far. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to, um, talk about these two games that I briefly played over the, the weekend. Um, so, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you like one more than the other? Is there something I'm missing that you want to talk about or I should talk about? Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. And, um, I, I can learn more about the game through that through your guys' help and, you know, your guys' opinions and stuff. And, yeah. I don't know what's coming up next to my channel, honestly. I, you know, if you fast forward to October, Overwatch 2 is coming out. That's replacing Overwatch 1. This will be a coaster really soon. Uh, I'll have a new CD coaster. 
Yeah. By the way, I'm trying Overwatch 1, and I fucking hate it. I despise it. I think it's like the worst multiplayer game I've ever fucking played. I... I don't know... I don't know why this won over a hundred Game of the Year awards. Nope. I guess it's just not for me. But when Overwatch 2 comes out, I'll see if it feels more balanced or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm not happy about that. Uh, <laughs> September, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be playing the new Fallout 76 expansion... As much as I love to hate Fallout 76 publicly, I don't know if I'm going to spend time on it and waste even more time than I have already playing that garbage. So, I don't know. And I hear Saints Row, the new Saints Row game is really bad. Uh, don't know if I want to spend money on that. Mm, you guys will just have to wait and see. Hopefully I can shit something out for you in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching. The Gamer Gods! Bam!